Hello everyone. I didn't have any ideas in my mind today, so I went onto a website, a uh, YouTube titled Generator website, and I mean there's where it came into my mind to actually make a video about video ideas. So here we go. Small little versions of the titles that came through the website. Hope you all enjoy. This sounds fun. So here's our first group of video ideas from the website. Why it's easier to succeed with Animal Jam than you might think. Eh, it's kind of boring. I mean, oh yeah, you could make shops. Will Animal Jam ever rule the world? That's a good video idea. Best gift for Animal Jam. That's not good. Are you getting the most out of your Animal Jam? Your Animal Jam. How to explain Animal Jam to a five-year-old. Okay. Looks like we're going to do Will Animal Jam Ever Rule the World? And How to Explain Animal Jam to a Five-Year-Old. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Will Animal Jam Ever Rule the World? That's the question that we're all asking here. And here we're going to give a completely speculative version of this. So, Animal Jam is popular, but it's not the world-owning popular yet. If Animal Jam did ever become that popular that it rules the world, what would happen? Would sapphires become the world's currency, not just in-game and in Animal Jam? Would sapphires become the currency for all over the world? That's a question that I want to be answered. And I mean you do too, right? And what would something like a real loaf of bread cost in sapphires would it be like five sapphires compared to like a hard antenna headband which is millions or i don't know if it's millions thousands it makes me wonder also this brachiosaurus looking over the world is the most menacing thing i've ever seen it almost looks like it's uh looking over the world actually it's pretty creepy Hello everyone, today we're going to be explaining Animal Jam to a five-year-old. You see this? This is a machine. It's not just any machine, it's kind of like how you pour your cereal. You put a dinosaur in there, and the dinosaur is going to eat the cereal and grow up. You see? Um, so when the dinosaur eats the cereal, it becomes Big Dinosaur because it ate all the milk in the cereal and that's why you should eat your milk while you have your cereal you'll grow big and strong like this dinosaur right here little child okay I don't know what this one was next we see five things I wish I knew about Animal Jam which seems like it would honestly be a decent title why you're failing at Animal Jam most people aren't really failing at Animal Jam. Ten telltale signs you need to get a new Animal Jam. Maybe. How do you explain Animal Jam to your mom? So first a five-year-old, now your mother. A step-by-step -step guide to Animal Jam. Which sounds really boring. The how to explain Animal Jam to your mom sounds pretty interesting, though. Hello everyone, today we are going to be figuring out how to explain Animal Jam in terms of uh, explaining it to your mom, let's say. So, here's how you would say it. Animal Jam is a educational playground of learning animal facts all the time, every day, 7 days a week, 24 hours a day. Everyone there learns about animals constantly and loves them so much. The items are just a benefit, but the items usually have a fact assigned to them as well, mostly pertaining to having uh, animal facts, which is very exciting to see because the more you can learn, the better, am I right? A guide to the different types of animal jam. What? How do you explain animal jam to your boss? We did your mom, we did the five-year-old, now your boss. This one probably isn't all too interesting, though. Five cliches about Animal Jam you should avoid. I got ideas for that one already in my head. 
How to get hired in the Animal Jam industry. You don't. The evolution of Animal Jam. That seems just like a normal good video that someone uh, similar to me would make. That seems like a good idea, actually. Anyway, let's make a cliche look. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be showing five cliche looks in Animal Jam. The first one is wearing every single rarest item you own on each head and category look. Wow. Next we're doing, oh, oh, um, archer hat with a fox outfit, which I, uh, kind of like. Match your rarest pet in every single way with your look, but it didn't come out well. Yeah. Edgy and blackout. Now that's what you want. Yeah. Making the crazy and most hilarious look ever just from random items, possibly even just from the randomizer. They are insane. I haven't had this much fun making a video in a, quite a while. So I hope you all enjoyed that one. And next week, I'm going to be making the annual Super Sweet Video Ideas video. So, look out for that. With those green items, you're better sure to believe I am definitely in for a lot of work, which is going to be great. Anyway, if you like my content, then why not subscribe? And with that, this is Brad Stormer storming out.